weeks of sailing vacation in Norway and Denmark, 800 nautical miles down to the German border. The purpose is to have a nice vacation, obviously, but also testing how much we need to charge the batteries from shore. If you only want to look at the input-output of energy for the trip, skip to the last four minutes of this video. The type of sailing the family wants to do. Sailing in light wind conditions in the area of 48 knots. Not heal the boat more than 10 degrees while sailing upwind. Comfortable vacation with two refrigerators, a freezer, hot showers, charging laptops, camera, iPad, so on. The domestic use is in the area of 100 to 150 amp hours a day in a 12 watt battery system that equals 1.2 to 1.8 kilowatt hours plus the autopilot. Sailing in light wind conditions and almost no healing results in not a lot of recharging from the propeller, a lot of motor sailing, a total of 53 hours of motor using during the next uh, the four weeks. The first week was about 30% overcast. The last three weeks was about 70-80% clouds. Plenty of squalls and thunderstorms. 30% of the days in the guest harbors, the rest of the time we just uh, put the anchor down in the sand. Far from the best circumstances to produce plenty of energy. So how many times and how much did we need to charge the batteries from shore? The result is in the end of the video. Here we are sailing from Norway to Denmark. It's about a hundred nautical miles and light wind conditions. Quite hot. hot. The dog is in the shadow and it's quite happy with the light waves. The captain is looking for the wind. After a few days we left Sabi and sailed 50 nautical miles south. What you see here is what the wind conditions were like for the whole day. It's trying to motor sail, but it's really only using the motor. So enjoy the peace and the silence. Cars down on the table, knowing there's no way that you'll be able to win this one. 
But she's somebody else in the making first She's just gotta stop all the faking And she'll be there But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever She leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll go She's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever She leaves her safe Here we are at Abele Which means Apple Island On high tide, it's an island And on low tide You can walk to the mainland And it's quite a lush forest And it's well protected from most of the winds. And as you can see here, you can walk to the mainland, low tide. Talking to myself, cause I don't know what I want. Yeah, I'm here talking to myself, like someone's gonna respond. I'm getting tired of myself, cause I don't know what I want. But I'm not out here on my own. feel better make her feel better and that's where she'll go electric boat with its own green power station producing energy and here we are saving by other units producing energy
We are sailing four knots downwind and the wind is blowing seven knots. As you can see, an old flag. There's almost no relative wind at all. Four weeks in Norway and Denmark, 800 nautical miles. First time we are using the shore power. And we are charging. Okay, so we are starting our sailing vacation. Uh, the 18th of July. Here we are sailing in Norway, Stay, staying overnight, and then we are sailing to Denmark with almost no wind. As you can see, we arrived quite late. We emptied the batteries to about 45%. Then the next days, we are sailing 20 nautical miles further south. And it's quite sunny, so we are charging the batteries quite nicely, all the way up to 90%. And then we are taking a 50 nautical mile trip for almost no wind at all. As you can see, we empty the batteries quite a lot. Still nice and sunny, so we increase battery charge quite good using the sun, sun panels, solar panels. Going for a trip with the motor again, and then here for the next couple of weeks, it becomes quite overcast. So we are charging, using the batteries, charging. Here we're doing some more sailing, so every day we're filling up the battery a little bit. Then we're using the batteries at night, fill up the next day, and so on and so forth. So in this period here, it's about 70-80% overcast. But we're charging a little bit by the solar panels, and we're charging also by sailing. And then we come all the way to the uh, beginning of August here, and now we are going from Denmark back to Norway. And again, it's quite line wind conditions in periods, no wind at all, so we are using the engine quite a lot. Coming back, doing some sailing. Get this quite some nice weather with the sunshine. And then we are using the motor or motor sailing along the Norwegian coast. And instead of going out and tacking uh, across the ocean. And then from here on, we are using only the engine going back home and depleting the batteries down to less than 10%. And then here we are back home and we are plugging in the charging from the shore. And as you can see, the next day the batteries are full.
Normally, we would charge the boat in the guest harbors, but this time we wanted to check if it was possible to be self-sufficient. An 800 nautical mile trip in four weeks with mostly overcast, mostly light and no winds, high degree of comfort, and using the motor for 53 hours. Several of the day trips were between 50 and 100 nautical miles. Only using our energy made by the sun and the wind. See you in the next video and uh, enjoy the silent sea.